Hello guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, my summery everyday summer look. Um, I know I do a lot of these kind of things but this is the look I have been wearing recently for all of summer really. Or variations of this. However, I really wanted to show you what I've been doing with the Naked Smoky palette because it's currently my new favourite eyeshadow palette got a blog post going about this really soon I'm in love with it so I wanted to show you how I've been using it and also a bit more of my new favorite lip and also a bit more of the kind of strobe and trend showing you how I have been highlighting and contouring recently so this is kind of like an updated everyday makeup routine video for the summer hope you like it if you do keep watching okay so for my base I really want to use this brand new brush the Louise Young brush I'm just gonna use an oldie and a goodie the NARS sheer glow I have the shade Deauville, and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Just going to work that into the face, mainly with dabbing motions. Oh, I like this brush, and I like the shape of it, and I like the brush head and all that, but I think for foundation it's not my favourite. I think it would be better to use as a kind of powdering brush. Perhaps. Do you know what? I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to go back to my trusty Zoeva Silk Finish. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm just going to go with MAC Prep and Prime under the eyes, under the nose, and on the chin. I use Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in SX05. Just like to sort of take a little dab on my finger. Probably not the most hygienic way of using it, but it's never caused me any issues. I'm just going to take this beauty blender. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And instead I'm going to use this Louise Young brush now as the way I will probably start using it, which is a kind of a, a kind of setting brush. So just very much under the eyes, just to set that powder under the nose. I'm going to try this Louise Young brush. This is the LY51. Usually I would use the MAC large contour brush. But I'm going to give this a go and I'm going to go in with this middle shade on the contour palette because I think this might be a really lovely brush. Ooh, I like this brush. Easy? Easy peasy. I love that brush. That brush is a good one. And then I'm just going to use my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess bronzer just to make sure I think it's nice to blend on it. I mean, how beautiful these brushes. Drill Techniques brushes. So pretty. Okay, so highlight, I have been loving it. After this whole like strobing thing happened and everyone was talking about strobing, aka highlighting without contouring, I was like, I like that. However, I don't want to go without my contour. So this is kind of a strobing, highlighting the way I do it. I take the Sigma E40 brush and the Kevin Aquan candlelight highlighter. I really love putting this on the very tops of the cheekbones. Underneath the brow bone. Becca Champagne Pop. Can you just see how highlighted that is? It's literally like my face almost looks wet from the sun. It is that bright right now. I'm going to add the same thing to my cupid's bow. That highlight is amazing. Okay, finishing touches to the base. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. As always, I'm using this one. I'm just going to use this on the blush brush because I just like to use it to brush this through. So even more brush. Getting bronze, getting bronze. I'm just going to take the cheek brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to swipe it through this shade right here 
more of a kind of highlighting shade. I'm just going to sweep it under this section here. Highlight. Because that's what the summer glow is all about now. And then just on the forehead too. Pretty much my whole face is just gleamy. Cheek blush. I use it all the time. First love. It's my favourite. Using it on the Zoeva blush brush. Just to warm up those apples. Exciting bit. We're going to go in with the Naked. Naked Smoky Palette. I've just been writing a blog post about this actually, so you'll be able to see that in a few days time. We we'll start with here 13, this, this whitish champagne shade on the very end. I'm just going to put that into the inner corner. Also just going to run that into the inner third. I'm just using Real Techniques brush here. Then I'm going to take Combust right here, which is an incredible, incredible crease shade, especially for my kind of skin tone. So I'm just going to work that into the crease. Right here. The exciting bit comes now. I am obsessed with this shade, it's called Dirty Sweet. So I'm just going to take that onto the middle of the lid. It's so beautiful, so pretty. I'm just going to take High on the very end, this more champagne -y shade, and that's what I'm gonna put over this inner corner section here. Just to add a little bit more sparkle and lighten that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use Radar, which is this third one here more of a shimmery brown. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown and my Bobbi Brown Eye Definer Brush. At the moment my eyebrows are dyed which I absolutely love so they're a bit darker and don't really need much filling in. This is a Body Shop Eyebrow Gel. Really need a new one. This is so full of brown pomade now. This is the Urban Decay Ink for Eyes. I'm going to try and do it in front of the camera so you can actually see me. But for my everyday look, I usually go halfway on the eye. And I'll just begin to wing it out. So it's a very generic, easy line. I just need to curl with my Shu Yumura eyelash curlers. And this is the Clarins Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to do the bottom lashes as well. That mascara literally works wonders. So good. Okay, so lip look I have been loving has been a mixture of my usual by Terry Bomb de Rose lip balm, my Miraness lip pencil in Crazy Coco and the Nude Six Love Pencil. When you're lining your lips, always do it from the, the crease of the lip and work it over in an arch. Then when they're lined, I use the By Terry. It's in the centre. Okay, and then it's going to fill in this colour just rocks my world, quite frankly. I love it so much. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's me in a lipstick. And that's all I've done! I love it. So hopefully you like it too, and hopefully you found some new products that you really like that I use. These are definitely my kind of go-to at the moment, the things I'm using the most. And you've probably noticed that actually in recent tutorials. So sorry if you've kind of seen a few products you've seen before but hopefully you like this look and if you're new to the channel please do just click subscribe down below the subscribe button is there for you to click and then i'll be in your subs boxes for next time and if that's the case i'll see you soon bye Mwah.